Hello and welcome to Life Vineyard Church. You might be wondering why are David and Nicola wearing silly Christmas hats, holding Chris Dingles and Dave, why is David draped in fairy lights? Um, and um, well, we want to talk about Christmas. And I know it's only October, but we want to talk about what we as a church are going to do for Christmas. Because this year, Christmas is going to look a lot different for, for many people. You know, it, it's more than likely we are not going to be able to mix with wider family. Um, for a lot of people it might mean isolation, it might be a really tricky time. And then when we factor in the financial implications of what might take place over the next couple of months, it's just going to be a really challenging Christmas. And we've decided as a church that it is our mission to light up Christmas in as many ways as we possibly can. <laughs> we want to go big, we want to go big, huge, massive this Christmas and we are going to need everyone's time, uh, energy and some money to be able to do the things that we want to uh, talk to you about now. So we're going to share a few things that we're going to do. Um, it's not going to be everything we're going to do but just the really main things that we'd love you to get involved in. And the first one is all about Chris Dingles. So last year we had an incredible... Um, 550, 550 people came across all of the, uh, the services that were put on. 300 guests. 300 guests, that's what I was going to say. Yes, okay. 300 <laughs> guests, carry on. Oh. Well, your candle's gone out. Oh no. Okay, thanks. <laughs> people loved it last yeah. year, it was a real success. And so we thought whilst we can't gather like we would love to, we're going to do something else to bless the whole region and um, what we want to do is invite the whole region for an online Christingle service to light up Christmas on the 13th of December and we don't just want um, people to be invited to watch we want people to be actually able to get involved to build their own Christingles and uh, and put them in their windows to light up Christmas and we're going to do that in a, in a few ways so we're going to push it out on social media and anybody who wants a Chris Dingle pack minus the orange because that's quite hard to post um, and we are going to post out all of the little bits and pieces to make their Chris Dingle so we'll just post them out to people's homes so they can join in with what we're doing we also would love you to go and just post them through your neighbours doors give them to work colleagues give them to people at the school gate you know however let's just get as many of these Christingle packages out to as many people as possible and invite them to come and experience something of Christmas on the 13th of December where they would ordinarily go to a carol service they can come and join us for this Christingle service but oh. that's not all oh and we're going to be also uh, having these packs that people can uh, make their own Christingles in any food parcels that are going out and also any um, customers and friends coming into the pantry to do their shopping in biker we also want to bless schools uh, and so we're going to be approaching schools and say hey would you like to do this Christingle with your uh, pupils and we're going to be providing them with what they need and also the kind of the technology the, the video side of things that they yeah. can watch and hear the gospel message as a school. So we're very excited. super excited, and, as you can tell, to light and, up and, Christmas. Um, and I suppose I just want you to imagine um, what it would look like is if people made all of these Chris Tingles on the 13th of December and then placed them in their window and just imagine all over the region Chris Tingles being lit up just to bring a bit of light this Christmas, just to remind people that there is hope in Jesus. So that's the first thing. So secondly, picture frames. Oh, picture frames. We have some fantastic photographers in our church. And how many of you uh, have photographs framed, maybe as your, of your family, to give to other members of your family as Christmas presents? If you are um, finding it hard to even feed your family, those kinds of presents are luxuries that you can't afford and we want to bless people with a family portrait that is wrapped up beautifully in Christmassy tissue paper with a bow on top uh, and so there'll be some time down in the biker wall where lovely guys and girls from our church who have brilliant cameras and photography skills will be taking uh, 
family portraits completely free just to bless uh, our city because we think that would just be a lovely thing to do. They can keep those photographs for themselves or give them as gifts this Christmas. So that's something else that we are planning to do. And then thirdly, we want to bless the socks off those people that we give food parcels out to. You know, again, we, were, we expect the, the need to grow over the coming weeks. And what we'd love to do is put those little Christmas special bits, like um, a Christmas pudding or um, you know, a chocolate orange that we always get at Christmas, don't we? Well, I do anyway. Um, but, and just throw those in so that when people get them, it puts a smile on their face and just gives them something that they would ordinarily have at Christmas. So we'd love to do that too. And then finally, the last thing is on Christmas Day, um, we are going to do a Zoom call in the afternoon for games and chat. Because we recognise, as we said at the start, that Christmas is, could be quite a lonely time for, for many people. And we want to have a really fun, almost like Christmassy party, drinks gathering in the afternoon on Zoom. Will you be wearing your hat? I might even be wearing the fairy lights. <laughs> and, um, but just to kind of give people something that lights up their Christmas day. So I suppose, in summary, what do we need from you? Um, well, here's the four things we need from you. If we're going to make this happen, we need you to give. We reckon estimations, really difficult on this, but we reckon we might need somewhere in the region of £5,000 to pull it all off. But who knows how far this will go. And I think the more people give, uh, potentially the more we can reach out and just bless this region. So we'd love you to give. We'd love you to serve. We're going to need people to make up Chris Dingle packs. We're going to need people to help down the food bank and, and maybe help around when we do the photography. There's going to be lots of opportunity to serve, give out stuff and all of that. Um, the third thing is invite. You know, this is not just to give out, but it's also for us to invite our friends, our neighbours, our work colleagues to, to really go big at invitation. And then finally, and importantly, we want to pray. We need to pray that the Holy Spirit comes and moves, that blesses all of these things, and that stirs people's hearts. And that not only will people come and join us on the 13th, but actually also will meet Jesus over this Christmas period. So, so that's kind of... The, we want to light up Christmas. Light up Christmas. Thanks and, very much. And we need you to help us do that. Yes.